Night for football in Southern Ontario. The Winnipeg Blue Bombers, the number one team in the Canadian Football League, come into Toronto, having already beaten the Argonauts twice this year. The roof is open. Grant Shaw will kick it off. Clarence Denmark is back deep along with Dion Beasley to receive. And this is Beasley from the 10 yard line. Tim Brown, a normal returner for Winnipeg, out with an injury, and Beasley goes out of bounds against his former team. Big to Corey Boyd, and Giles got hammered and picked off. Giles is down, intercepted by Javon Johnson. It's a touchdown for Winnipeg. Just like that, the Bombers take the lead. There's flags all over the field. Javon Johnson has his fifth interception of the year, his second for a touchdown by the Argos in two games and a bit against Winnipeg this year. Not going to get her done, Gore. And Corey Boyd busting through the Winnipeg defense for a first down and more down to the 36-yard line. That will right 15 there. yards, first down Toronto. And back to the ground they go, and Boyd bounces off tackle. Corey Boyd gets outside. Another first down to the 22-yard line on a pickup of 13. Well, outstanding vision by the downhill back. Typically, Corey Boyd is going to hunt somebody up, but he shows you that he can be light on his feet. Come up stats like that. First and short, and this is Steven Giles on the misdirection play. Giles to the end zone, touchdown! 18 yards for Steven Giles, who answers back after the early interception. First down from their own 50-yard line, leading by a point. And they give it up to Corey Boyd, a wide open hole, and Corey Boyd is off to the races. Inside the 20 and down to the 13-yard line, finally run down by Jonathan Hefney, but it's a gain of 47 yards. <laughs> now the fake to Boyd, and Giles takes it outside, throws it to the end zone, touchdown! Chad Rempel with his first career touchdown. Just his second catch of the year, and the Argos extend their lead. From the 25, this is Volney. And Carl Volney across the 15-yard line will have a pickup of close to 10 yards, and that could be another Winnipeg first down. Break. Quick time throws down to the five-yard line. And the catch is made by Clarence Denmark. Lynn J. Shell there on the coverage. Second and short. Volney slides through the Argo defense. He's got a first down, lost the football. The ball is still loose in the end zone, and it is a touchdown for Winnipeg. And it's picked up by Glenn January. Touchdown, Bombers. Texas Tech, boy. He, boy, he just smothered the ball. It looked like a piece of cake was on the turf, and he just ate it up. He just fell on it. It's just a big boy. Glenn January was hungry. I saw and the give goes to Volney, slashing off tackles Carl Volney across midfield. And a 54 yards rushing for Volney in the game. And now he's got it again, trying the right side, and Volney lost the football. Kowali jumping on it, and was Volney able to get it back? A pileup for the football, and it will be Winnipeg football. Justin Pilardi from 39 yards out. He's made six straight and 13 of his last 14. Make that seven straight, and the Winnipeg Blue Bombers lead in what's turned into a slugfest. Second and ten. Rick fires, and it's caught by Terrence Edwards. Now he's fumbled the football. Scooped up by Jeremy Unerdl, and Unerdl's off and running. He laterals it back to McCullough. Gets a block on the corner. Evan McCullough needs one more block. Here he comes. Up the sidelines. Evan McCullough. Touchdown, Toronto. Wow. Unbelievable. Brink's going to make a nice throw and a dig route right over the middle. Edwards stays with the catches in the second time. Powell knocks it out. Unerdl's there, and he turns in a running back right away. And he sees the faster Evan McCullough kicks out to him, blocks Hargraves. And then Big Flemish does a nice job of not getting a clip right there. <laughs> and then the Bear jumps on Evan McCullough's back there, and he barely makes it to the end zone. Chad Owens back to receive this punt. Run go! Renault bobbled the snap, and it's blocked. The punt is blocked by Toronto's Anthony Cannon. The ball in the end zone. And scooped up there by Clint Kent. But it's a safety for Toronto on the punt block by Anthony Cannon. 
And this is the way Toronto's got to win. I mean, I just talked about it. They're making something out of nothing, capitalizing on mistakes, you know, playing some field position, stopping Winnipeg on third and short and scoring territory. And, and the special teams play like this. This is the way they win. 18th catch of the year for Bradwell. Another play fake to Corey Boyd. Oh, it's intercepted. Ian Logan picks it off in the air. Tackled from behind by Brandon Rideau. And a huge turnover for Winnipeg. Bench. Second and 11. Here comes the rush. Brink throws and the pass is complete to Corey Watson. At the 23 yard line, he'll be very close to a Winnipeg first down. Yeah. Second and 10. Here comes the rush. Goals looking to the end zone. It is caught for a touchdown. Clarence Denmark, what a catch. How about the belief? How about the belief by the quarterback tossing it up well before he was open? Watch Goltz. He gets rid of this with timing. Throws a pretty ball. Let's him go get to it. Denmark stumbling. He's on the ground. One hands it. One hands it as he's on the ground. Denmark making an unbelievable grab when Winnipeg needs it the most from the 13th quarterback, Justin Goltz. Give to Corey Boyd on first down. Boyd slashes off tackle, spins away. Corey Boyd's got a first down to the 37 yard line. Corey Boyd, a very quiet man in this second half, but that's a big run for Toronto. So the Argos will run the clock down some more as Prefontaine tries it from 38 yards out. Now, wait a minute, there was a whistle. Oh, I can't. Gordon, this just goes, this is part for the course tonight. A whistle, a whistle was blown before the play started. Paul LaPolice is furious. The ball was snapped, the play happened. The problem is the Bombers heard the whistle and stopped playing. Several Bombers stood up when it happened. Well, Paul's asking, actually asking for the play to continue to stay on the board because the ball hit the upright and no points would be right. awarded. So he's actually asking, well, let the play go. But now they get a re-kick. Clock will start now. They'll be able to take 20 seconds off the clock before they snap. And Prefontaine gets a second crack at it. Again. Prefontaine missed it to the right. Javon Johnson needs to get this out. Reverses his field, can't kick it out. And he's dropped for a single point, 23 seconds to go. Goltz can't waste much time, though. Here comes the rush, and he is dropped. On the final play of the football game, the Toronto Argonauts win a wild one, 25-24 over the Winnipeg Blue Bombers in a game that had absolutely everything. The league's worst team beats its best. Five different quarterbacks, crazy touchdowns, and lots of conversational plays. Argos win.